For demonstration purposes, the Oracle Flash storage system shown in this video has been brought offline. In the field, the system remains in service while the controller you are repairing requires a failover and to be brought offline. Use the guided maintenance feature of Oracle FS System Manager to take care of these tasks for you. Once failover completes and the controller is offline, you can begin your maintenance procedure. Remember to always follow necessary ESD precautions as you begin. You will also need a Phillips number 2 screwdriver. In this procedure, we'll replace a controller HBA. Each of the three controller risers can accommodate two HBA cards. The HBA cards are located inside of the risers. First, deploy the anti-tilt legs. Next, slide the controller into the service position. Remove the power cords. Then loosen the thumb screws and remove the top cover. Verify whether cables are connected to the HPA card that you plan to remove. Make note of the connected ports and then disconnect the cables. In this example, we'll replace an HPA card in riser 1. The HPAs in riser 1 in this system do not have connected cables. Each riser has two captive screws, which secure the riser to the controller motherboard. Use a Phillips number 2 screwdriver to loosen the two captive screws. Then carefully remove the riser from the slot. Next, open the retainer latch. Note the slots of the HBA cards inside of the riser. Then carefully remove the HBA card from the alignment pins in the riser slot. Next, insert the new HBA card into the same slot that you removed the old HBA from. Hold the HBA by the edges. Be careful not to touch the metal contacts on the bottom of the HBA card. Push the connectors on the edge of the HBA card into the slot. Apply firm pressure on each end of the HBA card until it clicks into place. Then close the retainer latch. Lower the riser onto the controller motherboard and press the riser edge connector securely into the socket. Check to be sure that the riser is properly seated. Tighten the two captive screws to secure the riser onto the controller motherboard. If you removed cables from the HBA, reconnect them to their original ports in the new HBA. Next, close the top cover of the controller and tighten the thumb screws. Then plug in both power cords. Return the controller to the rack position.
then retract the anti-tilt legs and close the rack door. This concludes the process for replacing a controller HPA in an Oracle flash storage system. After the controller reboots, go ahead and verify the controller status. Refer to the Oracle FS1-2 video library if you need to learn more about verifying status.